Hi everyone, Ed Oswald here with WeatherStationAdvisor.com. Today we're going to be reviewing the latest station from Ambient Weather. This is the WS2902 Osprey Solar Powered Wireless Weather Station. It is one of the best selling stations on Amazon right now, and we're going to find out why in this review. All right, let's take a quick look here at what you get with the Ambient Weather Osprey Station. Here on the top, 40 page instruction manual with nice big print, very comprehensive. You're going to want to really read this through before installing and then using your station so you get the fullest benefit from it. Next, let's look here at the console. Console comes with two options for power, two AAAs here in the back. That's battery backup or it will run off those batteries itself. They also give you here a AC power adapter. We recommend using that. That way you don't have to change the batteries as often. The only other part here is this the actual weather station itself. This is what you're looking at here. It does have two double A's as a battery backup, but the main power comes off of the solar panel here on the top. Uh, I'll go quickly over the instruments that you have here. Uh, of course, here's where you would mount it onto a two inch diameter pole. Here's where the outdoor temperature and humidity sensors, they're enclosed by a radiation shielding, which helps give you more accurate temperatures, especially in direct sunlight. Turning it around, these two uh, posts here on the back are for your wind vane and your anemometer. That's your wind gauge. Uh, this is what that uses. That is the, these cups, they will spin. And that's how it tells you how, what the wind speed is. A wind vane here for the direction. Uh, here is the rain gauge itself. It's a tipping mechanism. What they give you here is a funnel, a funnel with a small hole here at the end. That slides on here at the top like that, keeps dirt and debris out. Here is something you don't see on a lot of stations of this price range. It's a solar radiation and UV sensor. If you have a lot of outdoor activities, that's especially useful. And then you also want to use this here. This is a leveling that makes sure that the station is level, especially important for accuracy with the rain gauge. Just want to take some time here to talk about installation, siding, and accuracy with your Osprey. Installation first, very simple. You're an all-in-one sensor unit here. Basically, you're attaching all the instrument parts to the top, making sure that's tight. They give you mounting hardware for the bottom where you'll find a hole there on the bottom of the station itself. You attach it to the top. It's a two inch in diameter pole. Unfortunately, I could only find a four foot dowel at my local Lowe's. What you can do is ambient weather sells different kinds of station mounts for depending on where you want to put them use them they'll have the actual two inch diameter pole and it's also going to be a metal it's a little more durable if you're mounting it near to the ground you're going to want to keep it about five to seven feet off the ground like i have my davis station here that's because that's where we measure temperatures from now you're going to have an issue with winds winds are measured from 33 feet in the air you're going to have to use one of those mounting poles and options from ambient weather in order to get it up that high if you can't just make sure you're 10 feet above any nearest obstructions that way your winds and wind direction will be as accurate as it possibly can let's talk about accuracy here now what i really say with this station is for most things it's going to come very close to davis if not equal it temperatures and Humidity was generally right in line with my Davis station readings. Uh, the rainfall, it overcounted a little bit. Uh, with the barometric pressure, that's where I had the most problem. It seems like this station was a little more sensitive than it should be for barometric pressure changes. So I found myself having to recalibrate it. That was the only real downfall. You don't get the UV and solar radiation sensor options with my Vantage View. You get that with the Vantage Pro 2. The Vantage Pro 2 has more accuracy, but these are great just for a general use. It's really not that bad at all. Wireless performance is the same as my Davis. These both have consoles about 150 feet away from where we're standing. No reception issues at all. I was very impressed with that you're really getting a really good deal with this station here because there's a lot of options here that you're not getting with the vantage view which is more expensive and you don't have to spend the money for a pro station like the vantage pro 2 for it's really not necessary uh, the installation accuracy just make sure you side it well and that's the biggest advice i would be give you in order to get the most accurate readings all right, everyone, let's take a look here at the console that you get with the Osprey. It's a pretty nice console. A couple issues which we'll go over with, but generally pretty happy with it. Let's just go over what you get on there. Up here, you have your indoor information, outdoor down here, rain, wind. Here's your light information, UVI. You have forecast icons up here. There's your pressure and then time and date. 
Uh, console itself, fairly large. Uh, down here is your controls. Here you can control the temperatures information, which that gives you, you can cycle through that. Uh, here you can cycle through different kinds of rain information. Here's your wind information, gusts, direction, that type of thing. Uh, pressure up here can give you average over 12, 24, 48 hours or 72 hours or that that's the current there. You can set alarms. Also have max and min, which is also a nice feature. Another feature which may help you because this console is pretty bright if you're in a the bedroom with you you're not gonna be able to sleep with it on it will shine it in your face you can actually change it and even turn it off uh, as far as the console itself it works very well I haven't had any issues with it one issue which I'm gonna try to get it to do which yes it's doing it there for you you can see that if you turn it from certain directions and are not looking straight on that is gonna cause some visibility issues I'd recommend using this so that way you're always looking at it uh, straight on. Uh, when you look at an angle, that's when you start having those issues. But otherwise, it's a really nice console. I've had, like I said, no problems. Uh, it does run on battery power for AAAs or the AC, which I have connected here. Uh, but pretty well, pretty much happy with this. All right, let's take a look at the connectivity options with the Ambient Weather WS2902 Osprey. There's quite a few. You can get on the websites like here on ambientweather.net, Weather Underground, Weather Cloud. It also works with Amazon Alexa, Ift, Google Home. Lots and lots of options. First, you're going to want to download the Ambient Tool app. Do that before you set up the actual ambientweather.net dashboard. We have ours already set up, so we're going to log in here and actually take a look at what you get. Here the dashboard shows all the weather information it collects in a graphical format. You can see the rainfall, outdoor temperature, wind, the pressure, and humidity on the screen right now. Scroll down a little bit further and you have the indoor UV and solar radiation measurements. If you scroll down even further, you can actually go through different graphs. Here it's showing you the dew point and outdoor temperature. You can see that for, for a day, a week, a month, or a year. I will just quickly go here to the week and you can see trends so that way you can see if it's getting warm or colder it's basically a bit about the same temperature during the day and the same temperature at night pretty much for the whole week pretty much boring weather here for the most part if you look at the devices here you can add more than one device that's real nice so you can track more than one station uh, over the internet portal if you go to the alerts here I have one set up you can see an icon there for if for daily rain greater than 0, 0.0 inches that'll send me whenever it detects rain you can have them by email SMS if you're using if they can even do notifications to your smartphone if you look here this is the unit section uh, if you prefer to have your temperature in Fahrenheit but you want your wind speed in knots maybe because you're a boater you can do that right here that's a nice feature this next section here basically takes a link to the community section if you need a little more explanation on what I'm talking about as far as if Alexa or Google Home it explains you how it works with that I suggest you give that a read over as well also wanted to show you the weather underground now with ambientweather.net that's for personal use so basically you're not going to be able to broadcast your weather information to anybody else except yourself sign up for an account from the weather underground now once you do you'll be able to go here into your profile and then you'll go down here to my weather stations and then you can go over here and it'll give you a list of weather stations that you have. You should only have one. I have a couple because I'm testing a few, of course. But here you can see all your weather data is on that website. It shows it a little bit differently, but it's the same thing. But this way you can give this link to anybody and they can see your weather information in real time. It updates about every three to five minutes, not as fast as ambientweather.net does but still gives you a lot of those same features the highs even the graphs and everything that you would have gotten with ambientweather.net but just allows you to show it to the public all right what I'm going to show you here is the Alexa integration Alexa ask ambient weather about the outdoor conditions the outdoor temperature at test station is 37.6 degrees it feels like 34.3. The outdoor humidity is 67% and the dew point is 27.7 degrees. The wind speed is 4.3 miles per hour out of the north-northeast. 
with gusts up to 6.9 miles per hour. The daily rainfall is 0.41 inches. The relative pressure is 29.72 inches and rising at 0.04 per hour. The UV index is 0, and the solar radiation is 29.9. The Osprey is a great weather station, let me tell you why. First things first, let's talk about accuracy. That's the most important thing in personal weather stations. Davis is usually considered the creme de la creme. The Osprey actually kept up with it in a lot of ways. There was a couple different inaccuracies, and I suggest you read our text review to learn more about them, but overall performed very well. Where it beats Davis and any other weather station is in its connectivity. You have Amazon Alexa, you have Google Assistant, you have Ift, you can do it through their website, you can look through their apps like Weather Underground when you connect it there, or Weather Cloud. There's so many different connectivity options. I was very, very impressed with that. I've been also saying a lot about price here. That's another great thing about this. It's a low cost weather station with great accuracy. For 90% of us, that's perfect. What I didn't like, console. Console is not what I thought it would be. I'm viewing it from an angle here. I can't see it. Also from a distance, it was less readable than I thought. In bright sunlight, sometimes you had issues there as well. There's no expandability. That may be a problem if you're a gardener. Maybe you want soil moisture, leaf moisture, or maybe you have a pool and want to have your temperature gauge in there so you can see how warm or cold your water is. You can't do that with this station. Hopefully, I'm hoping ambient weather decides to fix that in a future release with this station. With those problems all said, which aren't very major, it gets my full throat and endorsement for budget weather stations. If you're looking for a station at a low cost with great accuracy and great features, you really can't beat this station. We've included a link here in the description below. You can read the reviews on Amazon. You can also purchase the weather station there. You can see that everyone's saying pretty much the same thing. It's pretty surprising how great this weather station is. That's all the time that we have for this particular review. Hope you join us for another one again soon. If you like this one, like it below. Also remember to subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment, and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. Until next time, we'll see you again soon.